Yeah, that's just about perfect. Save it before something screws up and goes wrong. Let's take a look at a center of mass. I said center of mass and a center of lift. Are those still broken? Eh, still off to one side. But even if they're anywhere close to right, yeah, I bet you this will work. This is good. I'm gonna take this part and we're gonna give it one click upwards like that. Good. And then we'll take this next part. Remember, this is the kind of tricky one. Oops, all right, we'll have to do like surface attach. Give it one click, and the other way. Pull down right click. Okay, let's see, is that working? Is it smooth enough? Maybe I need to try and ease it back just a little bit. Okay, yeah, very gradual curve upwards like that. I like that a whole lot. I like it a whole lot, okay. Starting to get kind of excited about this vehicle, you know that? Let um, see, um, I've got ideas, I mean, the tail, I'm going to do this, This uh, what I've done in a couple designs in the past, this like annular, like ha a half a half a ring, the tail, so it'll be, uh, it'll be the uh, vertical stabilizers, hor horizontal stabilizer, rudders, and uh, elevator all in one sweeping curved piece. That's the plan for that. I'll tell you what, I'm actually not going to do that right now. Let's, uh, let's hang some landing gear on this bird. Oh, come on. I'll turn you over one more time. A lot like that. Let's fix that action group because we do not want the brakes on this one to break. This is activate spoiler stuff. There is no spoiler. Get off of there. There's no piece on this vehicle that has a spoiler. That was odd. I don't know. That's looking kind of ugly hanging out there. Maybe I do want to blend it in some here. Can we just stick it back here so it kind of blends in that way? Or do I want to do it this way? Grab it and we'll go inside and do it like this. Much, much, much better. I hope it's long enough so we're not going to be dragging the dragging this chest. Or, you know, this uh ventral surface there. Maybe I should go ahead and just go with the larger... Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the larger landing gear. There, like that. Okay. That, uh, except now I need to go and do the action groups again. Yeah, that part will definitely work. Uh, there's that center of mass. Good. Uh, now let's go with the extra large retracted pieces and tell you how I'm going to work this. Let me see, this part is still even, so we're going to go in here and make certain I know which component I'm attaching this to. Rotate it this way, yeah, like that. Whoops. That right there. See, did I guess correct? Ooh, without really being able to see what I was doing, I guessed that one fairly close. Good. I'm happy about that. Uh, let's, okay, more struts on those main landing gear. Okay, this is working. So now we have landing gear. With, I should check. I mean, I just, looking at it, I bet you that'll be good. But let's, let's save it. Let's do a landing gear check. Swing the gear. Boom, thud. Okay, well, nothing... Oh, man, I started to say nothing breaks. I spoke too soon. That was bad news. Nilorf! Nilorf loved it. Look at that. He's all happy about it. Uh, Bob's like, hey, man, look at those pieces drifting around. <sighs> Why did it do that? 
Structural failure. Interesting. Structural failures in Clamptron Senior Doc. That's interesting. Why would there even be any any um pressure on that? Okay, well, yeah, back to the drawing board. Let's get back into the back in the shop. I wonder let's just see what's happening with this Clamptron Senior inside of here. Let's grab that thing. Let's just get rid of that one component and let's tr let's try this again. Save it and launch it. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Why? Why are you doing this? It's like it's not happy having all these parts clipped together. I couldn't imagine why. Now what's the problem? Uh, structural failure linkage between Mark III procedural wings and the cargo bay. Okay. I'm just looking at some of this other stuff. Close. All right, let's go back and let's throw some more struts on it. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Why does it do that? Structural failure. Yeah, as still marked between the Mark III procedural wings and HL cargo bay 8 meter. I wonder, is it have a problem because part of it is colliding with the ground? Sometimes these vehicles don't like that. Let's try something. What I'm going to do for our initial testing purposes is I'm going to pull this... Um, retracted landing gear off of there and we're going to go with the uh, non-retracted with normal landing gear the landing gear looks uh, it looks like it could dragging its tail could be kind of a problem here let's save that launch it see how it does oops i forgot to turn fraps off again let's see if this is it going to crash is it going to crash this is the suspenseful moment you know Come on. It's going to crash. The time is now. Ooh, no crash. Don't explode. Please do not explode. Please don't explode. Please. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wing parts flexing. Okay, so. Yeah, that was definitely a large part of the issue. Wow, that's ugly. <laughs> See, right now, this main landing gear is attached to this skinny, this small wing piece, and it'd be better if it was attached to this one. So I think I can go in and I can take care of that. But the angle has got a slight nose down angle, just slightly, you know, a couple degrees. And it looks like it tilts back yet yeah, a larger angle of attack as we land with the uh, danger of dragging the tail, but not too terribly much. See if that makes a difference. Yeah, that makes a significant difference. You can still see the wings flexing some, as there is still some mass there to be to be, to be had. Uh, maybe the weak, there's something we can do with this leading edge to do some more robust strutting. Uh, that looked that, but it is strutted already. Uh, it may be an acceptable level of flex. Let's do a runway run a runway drive just to see if it tracks straight. Let's do this. Um, turn that one off. Turn those off. So we're moving, running just on the jet engines. Thank you. Uh, guys, we we seem to be veering to the left here. Why are we veering to the left? I'm holding all the way over. This is a problem. If we attempted to land like that, you know, that would be instant destruction. Okay, stop. Why is it doing that? Why was it doing this? So many glitches to work through all the time. 
See, the thing is, I can't tell. Is it because that the the nose gear wasn't attached perfectly straight, or is it because these things back here are not attached perfectly straight? Okay, here we go. Precision control. Let's launch that. Notice that none of our rocket engines are getting anything. They are liquid fuel deprived. Whereas the all my jet engines, they're taking their fuel from these right here. So we need to figure out why these tanks that we have buried inside the wing root, why these are not feeding fuel to our rocket engines. We don't care about those right now. I'm certain that this is this is thrusting. This is thrusting. This is thrusting, that is thrusting, and we are still veering to the left. I'm holding yaw to the right all the way over. So, this tells me the problem is not with the nose gear. It seems very likely that the problem is with the main gear. Accelerates. Alright, revert flight. Back to space plane hangar. Getting kind of tired of doing this. This thing is attached. It's a, fir a perfectly flat piece. It's perfectly symmetrical. There's no reason for it to be having this problem. Leave that center mass indicator on. So it needs to go up here. Could I? Well, maybe I well, could suffer the ugly and just stick the thing hanging off the bottom like that. And it is veering to the left. This is the kind of thing that is maddening. This is what makes people crazy. It has no reason to be veering to the left. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, airplane. Even though you don't have a tail or anything. It's definitely... Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Nose is coming up. <laughs> yeah, this is even, even before we stick an elevator on it. Just got these elevons. Alright. Yeah, we're not going to go crash. Uh, revert flight. What am I going to do to fix this problem? I mean, just it, thinking about it, the I only see a couple of things that look like they could cause the problem. One would be if the nose gear were not correct uh, not correct the another one would be if the main gear were not correct and we've already replaced both of them I I wh what is there left to try you know what, I want to try one thing in here let's while I'm thinking of the other problem in that that's not feeding fuel to the rocket engines let's get a fuel line from here good Um, why is it mirroring on that? It shouldn't be doing that. What is this absurdity? Is this something... Is this a glitch? A bug? Oh, wait a second. Where is this... Oh! Hey, that could have some... Hang on, where's all my... Fuel tanks in here. Hang on. Is this? Oh, that could definitely have a large part of it. Large something to do with it. Look at this. Our, we have these fuel tanks on this side. We do not have them on the other side. Uh, what do we have on this side? Is this front part and nothing after it? Okay, okay. That's what's happening. Here, I was driving myself crazy with all the um all the, the landing gear pieces and that wasn't it. So let's just highlight this. And reattach it, and that should mirror the whole thing. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Uh, but we still weren't getting any fuel feeding, so now let's see if we can fix that problem. Yeah, okay, now we're mirroring correctly. <laughs> Alright, well, that was kind of frustrating. Let's fix this landing gear now. Okay, 
save it again, launch it. Let's see if these problems are fixed. Open this up. Uh, guess what? Our rocket engines are liquid fuel deprived. Liquid fuel deprived. Why is that? Oh, look at this. We've got a little bit of this part extending out. Uh, maybe I should try... Yeah, we'll have to get another piece in there. We'll route the fuel line to the wing and then the wing to this... Uh, to the fuselage. Okay. Throttle up with our jet engines. Let's change this just for fun. The equivalent airspeed. Guess what? We do not appear to be pulling to the left anymore. Isn't that fun? We are accelerating kind of sluggishly. Which could be a, co a concern whenever it comes time to use this thing as an airplane. Raise the nose. Yeah, it needs it needs a an effective tail for this to work. And also probably looking to get some boost out of the OMS engines. Stop! Ha! Faked you out. Nellerf bought it. <laughs> and back to the space plane hangar. Okay, so what's the issue? We've we've solved the landing gear problem. Uh, now we have fuel routing issues. So let's deal with our fuel routing issues. Let's see, what is this attaching? What is this piece out here that that is poking out? Oh, is that the back of... I believe that's the back of this... If I can see it... Yeah, that the curved the curved fuel tanks in the side. Uh, wait a second. Here's another thought: how we can go about doing this. Since my main engine, I do not want my main engine to be running off the internal fuel supply. After all, and I mean that'll be running off the external fuel tank. Let's let's take a look at this. All right, so if without doing anything, see so if I just stage it, then now I bet you these four OMS should get fuel, but the main engine should not. Um, not quite. We've got three things that are getting fuel. Nominal, nominal, liquid fuel deprived, liquid fuel deprived. What the hell is this? this piece directly to the tail cone piece. There we go. Okay. That should make a significant difference the way this works. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, let's set that brake. Good. Let's just throttle up a little bit so these are burning. I just want to see where it's pulling fuel. See, is it pulling fuel from there? No. There? No. There? Yes. Good. I like that. That makes me happy. How about here? Yes! Symmetrical. Problem solved. I like solving problems. This makes me happy. Okay, so that is all working correctly. Now the next thing that the next big thing that I want to work on is this tail assembly. The tail is going to it's actually going to connect to start off as like a twin rudder kind of thing. Twin vertical stabilizers attached right here. And then it'll sweep up and around in a, in a in a circle back back th like that. And I think I'm actually going to do that later. I'm going to take a little bit of a break right now. Yeah, we'll cease recording. We'll come back and talk to you later, and hopefully, when we come back, we'll be able to get that tail done and then actually take this thing for a flight. Won't that be fun? I'm happy with it coming so far. Rock is looking good. Yeah, I'll be back. Bye.